So I'm here with uh, the monthly financials for October. You guys, I think, got them in your mailbox yep. early last week. So, and I emailed them off to you. They are also on the website and sent to the budget committee. Uh, it's the tenth report for 2016 with a target of 83.33 percent. The total month's income was 662,954 dollars. Of that total, uh, motor vehicles came in at 291300 which is over the month's target by $43,300. The other major contributors to the month's total were interest on taxes at 6714 building permits at $27,478, highway subsidy at $88,789, State water pollution at $100,075. Other state revenues at $63,538. Departmental income at $47,357. Parking lots at $2,528. The rice sewer agreement at $16,234. Other dividends um, at $2,884. That's a new um, program that we have started a while ago with, uh, we have a credit card from Citizens Bank and we're earning back um, dollars on that credit card. So that's for two quarters, I believe, the $2,884. We just started using it. So um, it's just another income source that we have tried to take advantage of for the town. Donations at $6,612 and the real estate trust at $36,079. Um, the expense summary at the end of October, the operating departments without debt service but with open POs were at 78.8% of the budget, which is under the month's target by 4.53% or $1,092,364. In October of 2015, we were at 80.87 compared to the 78. So it was fairly, we're up basically at uh, close to the same place this year as we were last year at this time. Overall, the departments as a whole are running under the target of 83.33%. Uh, I'll just run through some of the different departments who um, some of the lines are a little higher than the target. Uh, the town manager supplies and expense line is at 125%. Town clerk is at 83.19%. Uh, most of that's related to their software agreement for their, um, their software that they use, their contract, the maintenance contract. MIS is at 71.4%. Uh, some of the lines there are over the target, but if you include those four lines that repairs and maintenance, new equipment, replacement equipment, and supplies and expenses together, they're only at 58.4. And the staff development is over target at 121. That's related to um, both of the gentlemen in those two IT positions recently attended um, some classes up in Portsmouth. The legal department as a whole is under the target. The line item here that is over is outside council fees at 119.73%. Cemeteries as a whole are under target, and uh, some accounts to note there are telephone at 133.35%, heating fuel at 100.3%, and repairs and maintenance at 113.87%. The parking administration is at 105%. 0.36% so they've gone over budget there. Um, they did have a few concerts in November so that number will change slightly. The police department as a whole is at 81.47% when you include the open purchase orders. Fire department is at 78.02% when you include their open purchase orders. Hydrants is at 97.03 which is uh, we've made both the payments there so that will stay at that percentage. Department of Public Works is at 75.53% uh, with the open purchase orders. Mosquito Control is at 93.2%. Welfare is at 74.46. I just noted there again that the public assistance for rent is over um, the target. Culture and Recreation is at 73.18%. Patriotic Purposes is at 114.73%. Uh, the 2015 encumbrances are now 91% expended. And then when you get into the special revenue funds, the recreation fund has a balance of $164,006. The cable committee fund balance is $176,753.
private detail, uh, the front balance is 124,815. EMS, the balance in the account is 428,122. And the water system development charge, uh, the fees collected in 2016 now total $54,804 with a balance in that account of $169,477. And that is all. All right. We'll start with Rick. You want to start? Sure. I don't have any questions. Thank you for your report. You're welcome. Bill? Director, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Regina? Uh, just one over 6L, the million ninety two three yes. sixty four that we're under target by, which yes. is not really much different than it was last year, if Correct. you look at the percentage. And I would probably, we can anticipate that that number has changed or probably will go down. Yes, it w I mean, I'm sure it's already changed since this report was right. done. Um, I think that a lot of the departments tend to hold off on some of their spending until the season is over because being a seasonal community, you never know what to expect in the summer, right. what you're going to get. And so, um, like I said, that number is very close to where we were in October of last year, and we didn't end with that much. So um, I do expect it to, to drop. All right. Thank you for the clarification. Sure. Christy, thanks for your report. And, you know, I think it's important for people to realize that you do this every month and that it's posted online every month. So people in town can go to this report and go line by line and see exactly what's being spent yes. so that it's it's totally transparent on where the money's coming in, where the money's coming out, whether we're in, in line, whether the budget's in pretty good shape or we're, you know. So I think, I think that's important for people to realize and that you also are watching it fairly closely to see if, even though there are some lines over, but that everybody's staying within their budget and if we're going to end up with any problems. So I think, I think that's well done and I think it's, people should realize that and they should realize the transparency that they can go and they can look at this, they can see it, they can figure out exactly where the town's spending its money. So and thank usually once we do the November financials, then Fred and I usually almost monitor it on a weekly basis. He and I are looking at it and I'm almost generating these reports weekly. Um, they're not always distributed, but Fred and I are at least watching it once the November financials are done for those last four weeks in December. We're usually generating this on a weekly basis every time we uh, do payroll and payables. Right. We sit down and look at it. So thank you very much for that. And just looking at the uh, the EMS fund. Yes. I mean, it, it looks really big when it says it's got $425,000 in there, but in all actuality, that is the potential we will have for that. Is it, am I correct? That's the That's, balance at the end of October um, in that account. Right, but we that that also includes money that will potentially come in. Correct. Oh, yes, sorry. It's, yep. it's not an actual Because we booked figure. the revenues at the time of the bill. Right, yes. and, and, and there are many ambulance calls that over the years that end up getting written off due to lack of pay or, or non-payment. So Correct. So that figure it, it, it is a yes. figure, but it is fluctuates. Yep. So we're not, we don't have that much money no. sitting in a bank account someplace. No, we do not. So, thank you. Anything else from the board? Okay. Seeing none. Thank you very much. Thank, All right. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Christy, you always do a good job. Thanks.